Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to part two of our Easter colouring page in Botanicum. I'm really excited about carrying on this page with you. So we left off a couple of days ago and we left, we'd done our crocuses, our blue flowers, our, um, well most of our ivy leaves, I've got to outline them when I'm finished. Um, with my Thule art pens and we're nearly there but I didn't want to rush it and spoil it we've got elements that need doing on the page that would have taken too long to carry the video on so unusually I'm going to start off and be brave and I'm going to start off with filling in some of the background I'm just taking two colours and two colours we've already used in the picture so if I bring you in we're going to use earth green and sky blue. I am going to have to replace the little sky blue. It's clearly a very, very loved pencil. So what I'm going to do is, and the reason I'm doing this first is I'm going to do that. Obviously the nest is going to be a kind of brown, a lighter brown, um, a bit different, a bit more goldeny. Um, I don't want to drag colours into each other. So this is why I'm doing this first, because the background's going to be lighter. So what I'm going to do is really lightly, and you'll have to excuse my, I don't know if my pencil extender would fit um, these pencils, let me see, bear with me. I don't get them out very often and I should, but I don't know if they fit um, polychromos. Let's see, Ooh, maybe, do they? Oh they do, okay. So you don't have to excuse my hand, I can keep it out of the way. Okay, so this is sky blue, so I'm just going to go in, and I've got a soft edge where I've already used it instead of a sharp point. Um, and I'm just going to go in lightly and put this sky blue in. And then we're going to go over that sky blue with earth green. So we'll, we won't have the same colour as the leaves, and we'll create a different green that's still equally soft and beautiful. So I'm going to fill in here and then what's going to happen, oops, then what will happen is we can start to blend that out into different colours. So it will be very exciting to do. And we're just going to have a nice soft dreamy background in behind our bunny. Okay, so we're going to switch to another pencil extender. <laughs> and... I'm only doing this, this one's a bit longer, but I'm still doing it. Why is that not going to fit? What? Look. That one won't fit. Isn't that weird? Let's try another one. They're cheap. They're just cheap ones that are from Amazon. So they're not like Derwent or anything. That's very interesting, folks. Excuse the rustling. And I've took it out the wrong end. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. What? Look, it won't go in. That is so bizarre. So this is what they came like in a pack of them. I'm just going to open this one. I don't know why I've got them with. I've had them in my drawer for like forever. Um, I don't know why I've never thought to use them really. Why does everything have to have plastic on it? They're already in plastic. Why do they need to be individually wrapped in plastic? No. That is so bizarre. Am I not? How? Wait. No, definitely not. It's not going to go in. I'm not going to wedge it in there and then not be able to get it out. Okay. Well, that's very weird. If you have the Derwent ones, will you let me know? Do they take um, polychromos? Might be worth me investing in a couple. Okay, so we've now got a very pale blue and I'm going to go over that. You'll have to excuse my hand. I'm just straight colouring, so there's nothing, you're not missing anything. I'm going to go over that with our earth green and build that up. So down the bottom here, when I've done, decided down here, I can make that much darker. So what we'll have is a very unique colour. 
but it will still be green. And we'll just build that up. And I'm just going to try and sort of mimic the colours we've already got on the page for our background. Going back to the blue. Um, so it gives the impression of fuller foliage down here. And then as we come above, just a soft sort of blurred, a blurred outlook as we come up here. So the more we go over that, the more of a colour we'll get. But it will be very unique, right, on ter in terms of this page anyway. Okay, so we just have to find all those gaps. And we just alternate those two colours. Um, it's a bit hard to see. So I'm going to come up here with our earth green. And then stop about there and I'll blend that blue in. Around these. And the reason for that is I'm going to blur a little bit of um, that purple into that blue. So that around the tulip, uh, crocuses, <coughs> it might look like there's some more crocuses in the background. So I'm just going to leave it nice and soft. And then, just because I am, I'm going to use a white prisma and just soften that even further. But it helps, the white prisma really helps to blend the colours together. You get that smushability. So we've got sort of a green, um, a grey green, which is really pretty. Okay. So let me just take that off. Around our. Um, crocuses I hope this works let's bring that blue up and I don't want to come out too far I just want so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sort of just fade that out and the white prisma will help us do that but I'm just gonna get a little bit round this these crocuses like this just get a little bit of that blue down get some of that oily wax on the page and then we're going to take the um, purple violet that we used in the flowers because it's our softest of the two colours that was the right one wasn't it was it or was it halio reddish I've got a feeling okay well we're going to go mm, hang on a minute test page Yeah, we're definitely going with the um, purple violet because we're already going over blue so it will change that colour even more. So around that, using my soft edge of the pencil, around that um, crocus, I'm just going to softly, softly brush in some of that purple. Can bring that down. It doesn't have to be perfect, just any way you want to put it, really. And then I will use my white prisma if I can find it and I haven't chucked it somewhere like I usually do to blend those out. So we'll now go back to our blue. Just want to get my soft edge on there. Go back to our sky blue and go over that. If we do it really lightly there, then the prisma will um, just knock that back completely and we'll just have a lovely sort of fuzzy fade out. Do you like my terminology? Controlled scribbles, fuzzy fades out, fuddy fa fuzzy fade outs. You know, it's all going on on this channel, you know, folks. So you want some colour in there before you go in with your white. So um, I'm just going to go back to our violet, purple violet. Finding that soft edge of my pencil again. 
and I'm kind of just leaving a gap of purple just let the blue do its thing up exactly round the flower like that. then I'm going to take my white prisma and I'm not pressing hard here because I don't know if I've got enough layers in yet I want to be able to go back over it if it's necessary and then I'm just smushing see smushing controlled scribbles what else did I say fuzzy fade outs <laughs> Yep, it all happens on this channel. Okay, so you just keep working at that. And we'll have, go back with the blue, just keep filling it up until we've got, I could put some pink in there. And I'll just keep working away really at adding those colours. And then I'll decide down the bottom here. We can go ahead and put the blue and the green in down the bottom here. Just fill in where those leaves stop. Um, and then we can decide about adding extra colours in at a later date. There's no panic or... Okay, one thing I, did, I had forgotten in the last video, and I'm going to do it now while I think about it. Obviously, I will tidy that up. It won't remain looking scruffy like that. And the more layers we do, the smoother and beaut more beautiful it will look. There we go. One thing I want to do before I forget is take orange, yes, um, light cadmium red I've got here. I thought I had orange, actually. Put that away. Orange. <laughs> yes. Orange glaze, and I want that um, light cadmium yellow. And where the little bits are poking through in the crocus at the top, I'm going to put that in. Those two. And we get that beautiful contrast of nature between that orange and the purple. That beautiful shock of colour in there. And I might use a Thule Art pen just to sort of add some little um, brightness in there. I'm looking what sets I've got. Um, what have I got? Um, hmm. Don't know really, not for oranges. Uh, the wildflower one, that's a, an incredible set. That's got some beautiful bright colours in it. Um, I might use those. Okay, like that. Okay, I think that's all of them, isn't it? And I'd forgotten this little flower down here. <laughs> okay, so we'll fill up down here with our blue and our green. And I'm just going to stop at the natural point at which those um, leaves do. I don't want to, I was thinking, contemplating a border, but I'm not going to. It makes it difficult to do a sort of soft, fuzzy background. And I'm into my soft, fuzzy backgrounds at the moment. I'm loving them. It's just a really easy background, but it's really effective. And um, makes it look like you've spent hours and hours perfecting. Um, a background. I mean watercolours, you could do this with watercolours and have a really soft background. I don't know why, I've got that beautiful set that I was bought and I haven't used them yet. Yeah, I've got those pastel set from, um, oh, I, don't, I can't get the name out. I'll get those out on another colour along. Colour with me. I didn't do colour alongs, I didn't do tutorials, I didn't call them tutorials or colour alongs because when I started I certainly didn't feel qualified to um, be doing either. So that's why I always called it a colour with me, colour along with me, you know, rather than let me teach you how to colour. Go back in there. And that... Um, 
Blue and purple will blend together beautifully so you don't have to worry about that. And like I say, you could even have pink if you wanted some variety in there. The pink and the purple will, would blend beautifully. That's leaf, isn't it, there? Okay. And then when you've got some of that down, again, if you haven't got a white prisma, use a blender pencil. If you don't have black and white prismas and um, you're not you're not buying prismas, they'd be the colours I recommend. Just get the black and the white because they are outstanding. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking I might bring some pink up here because that would bring his little nose and ears in. But I will do that off camera. You don't need to see me just watch do soft, subtle background. Um, okay. So, before I go any further, I need to keep those out because they've got to go on our editing. Um, the nest. Okay, what have I got? Some different colours here. I've got three. Uh, no, four. Yeah, four. So I've got, in order of how I'm going to use them, I've got green gold. I've got um, a warm grey five. Bista or Bista and warm grey one. So just a little bit of difference there. Okay, because I don't want Bunny to be lost. So let's just do a section because it'll all be done the same. So I'm coming in with a light coating of green gold. Let's just do this section together. And then I've got our egg colours. What are these, do you think? I'm going to have to make them up. I thought they'd be like catkins, but I'm not sure what the little bulgy bit is. I'll have to look to look them up and see what I can find. Okay. So I'm just filling the nest up with green gold. I think that's a bit of nest there, isn't it? There we go. Alright. And then I'm going to take... Um, this warm grey five and this is going to be our shadow colour and I'm just going to put it in really lightly like this I want it visible it will tone down the gold of that um, what did I say tone down the gold of that green gold the yellowy colour, but when we go over it, it will change the what is called the tone when you add grey. Okay, let's put in our vista. So it's tone apparently um, when you add grey, it's tint when you add white, and shade when you add black. I know because I've got it written on the wall in front of me. <laughs> when, when I was doing my research about um, changing colours and whatnot, this is our um, warm grey one. Okay. So w w by adding that green gold, we should have a significantly different colour to Bunny, but we still get to keep those highlights. And then by going over with that warm grey one, tones down that gold look, knocks that yellow back. I think we need darker. So, we're going to add, what have I got over here? Oh yes, nugget. Let's add some nugget. Not to make you hungry or anything. Have you all had Easter eggs? My husband brought me the... Reese's Easter egg. It's empty. <laughs> I do have I do have one little egg left. I know I'm a pig. <laughs> I, I I have a, a real weakness for Reese's uh, peanut butter chocolate. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think he's trying to fatten me off off to sell me at market or something. <laughs> okay, so we've got our grey on that one, so let's then go in with Bista. I, I, I hesitate when I say the, the name Bista because there is a place 
um, not far from where I live called Bicester and um, it's spelt differently but I always look at it and think I'm just running through the colours green gold I always look at that and think well surely it's not the same as the place you know it makes me hesitate there we go and then we'll just plop our nugget in what I was hoping for and I think I've achieved that is making the bunny look more uh, brown grey than brown so um, I think that will work okay let's do a little bit in here so if we put our grey our dark darker grey at the bottom here and pull that out I don't know what they are I wish I'd have asked you in the last video oh does she say at the back Oh, that was my Christmas page. I still love that. Did that on the... Uh, yeah, we did do all that on the channel. Uh, let's have a look on the back. No page numbers on her earlier ones. So, if these are... Crocus. Oh, they might be there. Unless they're the um, Latin name. I don't know. I'll look. I'll have to look them up. I'll, I'll look it up and see what they say in between um, shots, video shots. Okay, let's take our, can you see? Yeah, let's take our beaster. Beaster, beaster, beaster. <laughs> um, and then um, green gold. I'm just going to put a bit more of that green gold back in before we go over with the grey. Then our uh, warm grey one. And then just to finish each section off the nugget at the bottom so it's nice and dark. And we get that contrast. Okay, and we're going to do each section like that. So I'm going to do the bottom part, darkest, up to the lightest on each little section. It's going to take some time. Okay, let's go off and do that because otherwise it gets too much. We'll go off, I'm going to finish my fuzzy background and blend it all in properly. Um, and then if I use a pink up here, um, the purple up into the pinky blue, I don't know, I will let you know. It might be just say, I don't know. All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay, our fade out background is done. Now I've added, um, dark sapia into, let me bring you in, into the nest. I'll put it in the list, just in the, right at the bottom and some of the very dark areas, like here, as we get to the bottom, it's going to be much darker down there. And so I've just added a bit of that in. And then just to brighten up the um, purple violet, I added a little bit of our rose carmine. I didn't think it made sense to bring it up here into our rabbit, um, just because. So, I've got, or well, we've got these eggs to do. Okay, so I want to continue with the soft and lovely Easter theme. So I'm gonna do pink, yellow and green, I think, soft green. Um, yeah, that's what I think. So, going back to that colour, and so for our yellow egg, oh, bug, I've got green gold, I've got Naples yellow, cream, and we're going to use a bit of ivory to blend that out at the top. So, I'm going to go in with my green gold down the bottom here, like this, this is going to be our darkest of the colours. Very pretty colour, this green gold. And quite helpful for giving us um, shadow on um, yellow. Can use grey, I suppose, but it just dulls it down. Okay. Oh, I look those up. They're pussy willow. So, yes, please. No. That's the husband offering me a cup of tea. I didn't want to cut the camera. 
Sorry about that. Um, okay, got the green gold there. And then we're going to go in with our Naples yellow. Again, another beautiful soft yellow to have. And we're going to soften this all off anyway. Okay, Naples yellow. And then we're going to go over that with cream. And we're going to leave mm, uh, just a very light bit at the top there. We're going to go blend all of that with cream. Okay. Let's go back in and deepen this up around the bottom here with our green gold, just because it sits in those branches. And then we'll go back to our Naples yellow. We don't want a dowdy egg, we want colour. Okay, and then our cream again. I was going to add ivory, but I actually don't think, let's see, does ivory make, no, not really, but I've put it on there. Okay, so that's our yellow egg, and then I'll be poscarising that. And for our pink egg, we've got rose carmine, I've got, um, uh, cinnamon and I've got uh, beige red and again the ivory. So I'm going to go in with our rose carmine and I'm going to put that in. I'm going to bring that round there because it's sat in that nest quite snug by the look of it. I might actually put a bit of white over that yellow egg just to tone it down a bit. It's not pastel like I wanted. Okay, this is our rose carmine. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in cinnamon. I'm going to go over that rose carmine and start bringing out the cinnamon. And we're basically enclosing that rose carmine in a little ring of cinnamon. Like this. There we go. And then we're going to bring in the beige red. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, the husband and the tea. He's so good. Okay, um, and then beige red. Okay, we'll bring up then when we've blended it properly. We will bring up that, um, go back to that cinnamon and bring that round. Oh, I think the reason why they look uh, brighter than I intended is because they haven't got the white posca on yet. I haven't done the butterfly. I am rubbish at butterflies, so I hope I don't ruin it. Okay. Then we'll go back in with our beige red. Or light flesh, whichever set you've got. If you've got an older set, it will say uh, light flesh. Okay, then I'm going in with ivory. I'm back in with pink carmine. <laughs> so 
such a beautiful colour, isn't it, that pink carmine? There we go. I'm just bringing that out a little further, just so it's got that more of a pink hue. The uh, um, cinnamon just acts as toning it down, I think, really. Okay. We've got a little pink egg. Now the green, I'm going to take cream and earth green and I'm going to put cream all over it first. And then I'm taking our earth green, which I adore, as you can tell by the size of it. And I'm going to put that in. Yeah, I think once we've got the um, white Posca on it, these eggs will look more pastel-y. I was going to do blue, but there's, going to, there's quite a lot of blue already. Okay, back in with our cream. There we go. Let's blend that a bit better. I've got the rough edge of the pencil, that's why I can't get that nice soft finish. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of white to help that along. I'm going to knock that colour back, make it more pastel at the top there. And I'm going to do it on the egg anyway, on that yellow egg. There we go. Alright, then I'm taking my Posca. And the reason I'm using Posca and not my Tule Arts is the um, Posca's got a really fine nib, whereas the Tule Arts, it says extra fine, but they're actually, well, they don't look that much different, but they are a little chunkier, just a tad. They need to make an ultra fine. So I'm going in with my, I'm going to go round the eggs, round the outside with my Tule Art pens and take out those black lines. I know I shouldn't do this till the end, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Patience, folks. We need a bit of patience for this. My um, Romantic Country page, I don't know how many eggs were on that page, I should have counted, shouldn't I? But you'd think that I was all egg out after doing that, but just these three little ones is quite nice. And I didn't do yellow on that page, I didn't do a yellow egg. I did a purple and yellow tablecloth, which looked gorgeous. I don't think I've ever put purple and yellow together on a page before, but I love it now. So you're probably going to see it pop up a bit. <laughs> okay. And then this egg here, this green one, I've got the perfect colour in my Thule Art pens to go around the edge. I'll show you that at the end. I'm just going to put those stripes in. Do I put the wave in? Do I dare? Let's just put one wave in the middle. There we go. And then when we get the edges on them, um, they'll look so much more pastely. And I just like having the white against the colour. I mean, you could use a glittery pen. It's completely up to you. Glittery paints, because Maria Trowell's books are... The paper in these is insane. It's amazing stuff. It takes water and all sorts. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing making you watch while I do this on camera, but I am. <laughs> I've got some amazing 
oh some amazing gifts to share with you which I'll do in the next couple of days and just like I said the uh, on video one um, one of the gifts that I had literally reduced me to tears when they opened the package it's just yeah uh, you know me this bugs me I hate shows of black sticking through where I've poskered go away I really hate it. I think it just spoils the look if you've still got a black outline sticking through. It's just me being fussy. Okay. I'm going to take that out as well because that's part of, supposed to be a part of a pussy willow but it just looks stupid. Go away. All right. Our eggs done apart from the outline and the outlining for the green is going to be the same as that and then I've got my other Thule art pens right I have now got a gap here what's that then I think that's just background so we're just going to fill that in with background there we go all right, let's come out and have a look. We're getting there now. So all I have to do now is go off. I just wanted to um, get the pussy willow right and the colour of the leaves. And then I've got to do this dreaded butterfly. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I will. All right, I'll be back in one second. Gosh, it's amazing how different um, it looks with these, how busy the page looks with these white bits still left in, doesn't it? It's, um, yeah. Okay. So, the leaves, I've got three simple, beautiful colours. I've got the, um, in the middle I've got chromium green opaque, which we used on our ivy. The dark is being pine and our light is being um, earth green yellowish. So we get some brightness. Um, we can't have everything being pastely pastel. We don't have to have it in your face, but... So if um, I, let's have a look at this one, which is right in the center of screen, these three, let's do these. So I'm gonna cover the entire thing in um, earth green yellowish. Gain a beautiful color. I do love the polychromos. Polychromos, Pablos, Prisma, all the Ps, and then my Artex, I, I adore those too. And, <laughs> and I like, the Amazon Basics. I think they're brilliant for the price point. Okay, this is chromium green opaque. So I'm going to work through them. I'm just bringing these corners in here and I'm going to make that centre bit dark. Like that, leaving that earth green showing. And then I'm going to put the pine green in. down the centre. Okay, and then we can go back in. I hope my hand, my hand was in your way, I do apologise, like that. It's very hard with um, how I hold my pencils because of pain when they're stubby. I need to get some um, uh, pencil extenders that fit. And then I found that that's a lot of the reason why my um, hand gets in the way is because of how I hold it, because of pain. But if I have a longer pencil, it doesn't seem to be so much of an issue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of ivory up that edge there. Really lighten that bit up. Okay, now we're going to reverse that. We've got light this edge, so now the May green is going to be predominant in the centre here. I'm going to make that a bit brighter and then um, yeah so we should have it coming up this way shouldn't we like this I'm just going to make that pine green a little bit more obvious so I'm going to take pine green here and that's going to run up this outside edge like this I'm going to make sure I've got enough of that in. it's got a lovely blue hue to it Okay, then our chromium green opaque. 
which will bring in and help to match some of the colour we've already used so it's not such a shock to the eye. There we go. Let me just get a bit of a shine. A bit of ivory. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just make sure the tip, I think, is a bit darker with that pine. And we'll bring out the bottom too. Okay. Should we just do another one quickly? Okay, let's do this one. So, earth green yellowish. You don't have to do them all like that. You could do them just darker at one side. I do think it looks nice to have that little bit of light bit in the opposite directions. Although le these leaves are going to be quite finicky. So let's go in with our chromium green opaque. I'm going to run that up the centre and at the bottom. Make sure the base is covered. Up there like that. Leave in a little bit poking out of our may green. Like that. And then um, I'm going to come up this side and leaving our may green in the centre that there. Okay. Then um, let's go in with our pine. I'm going to make the tip dark, and we're going to bring that up that centre. That lovely blue colour. And on the outside bit of this side. There we go. And you can run that ivory in if you want to. There we go. This one looks much nicer than this one. But that adds to the organic feel of the page, hopefully. That's my excuse anyway. <laughs> I just don't think I went over that one as much. So it's up to you, you know, you can go over it as much. And then I think I'm going to take the chrome green opaque for the stems of our flowers. I'll put a little bit in the tiny little leaves at the bottom and go over that with may green. There we go. And this one like this, so our, our middle colour. Chromium green opaque and then a little bit of may green just brighten it up a bit. There we go. That flower has a very thick stem. <laughs> just saying. Okay um, let's do the pussy willow really really easy. I've got warm grey four here and I'm going to co colour that in warm grey fall and then I'm going to take um, let's take may green and go over that so it's got a little bit of a greeny tint and then I'm taking my Thule art from the pastel set that we've been using number two which says we've used already which says it's khaki um, or you could use white Posca whatever you've got whatever paint pen you've got and I'm going to fluff it up, not literally I hope, I'm just going to make it look sort of fluffy. So that green just shows through. So you can get a very fine line with these, I don't know why I've been scared of using them, look at that. It's a beautiful fine line, nothing wrong with that at all. There, we could have a little bit of white too if we want. Actually, you get a finer line with the Thule art than you do the Posca. And then I'm going to add pine green to this little poddy bit. Pine green. And then I think we'll add... No, that wasn't pine green, so I'm stuck now. This is pine green. <laughs> pine green and chromium green opaque it is, folks. But that's lovely, that's a beautiful combination. There we go. Okay, so 
what's left before I go and put a load of paint pen on is my dreaded butterfly. So I've got one, two, what other colour did I choose? Ah, yeah, cream and maybe ivory. Okay, so I've got sky blue, I've got beige red, I've got cream and a little bit of ivory. Down the centre of his body I am doing, not that dark, let's try cinnamon and warm grey too. Well, let me try that first, I haven't practised. So, warm grey too, I don't want a boring brown body, and a bit of cinnamon, let's try that. Yeah, that's cute. But I'm keeping him pastely because I always, I don't always fluff up my butterflies. I don't know why. They're such beautiful things. And then back in with our grey. All right. Let's go for it. So at the moment, I'm going to try this. So I've got beige red. I'm going to come up here with beige red and soften that right out like this. And then I'm going to be really brave and add some sky blue. And the two shall meet. Like this. Get back in. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> and blue. shouldn't really flap about such a um, small detail really should I but okay we're gonna do up here yeah I can't get over the fine lines that I've got with that Thule art just then I've been put off using them because they didn't feel like they would be um, that fine but they're actually gorgeous for yeah get a finer line than you do with Posca how about that okay sky blue I'm just doing it gently where they meet. So you get a blend, but I don't want a purple. So I'm just doing it gently where they meet. Which is why I lessened off the pressure as, as I got towards the centre of the butterfly segment. i go over that as well. Might be worth adding. No, don't do it, Lucy. Here you go. See, I faff and fiddle. I'm just going to go over with cinnamon. Make the cinnamon darker. And then the grey again. There, okay. Um, so this bit I'm going to do with you. Just so that um, I'm not on my own. <laughs> Don't want to fluff it up. Okay. So this is still beige, beige. Oh, see? Fluffed it up. Thankfully, I coloured it in lightly, so it should be okay. <sighs> okay. That's nerves for you. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I annoy myself with it. There we go. I think I rescued that quite well. All right, so we've got a very soft inside bit of the butterfly. And now we're going to have even softer... So I can put that down. I'm going in with cream on this outside edge. And I really would like to take the um, black lines out, but they're so fine that um, I'm worried I will just, you know, have wobbly lines everywhere. Okay. So we've got lovely soft cream colour and then again I'm taking that sky blue and just on the very very tips of these wings I'm really lightly going in with that sky blue. Just so it's not a flat colour and hopefully it just gives it that little bit of movement. Oops, 
just having my tea for it goes completely cold. Okay. Now the idea was that I went round, like I say, went round this with white to soften that look even more, but I don't know if I will. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I dare. Isn't that lovely and delicate? And then, where's my white Posca? White Posca. Take out the black dot there. Okay. All right, maybe I should just step away and leave the butterfly for a minute. Get my nerves back together. Okay, folks, let's come out and see. Okay, so all I've got to do is go off and do the little pussy willows and the leaves and then we'll meet back up. I don't know if I'm going to add any glitter or glam, although this paper does take it. I haven't coloured a lot in this book and I don't know, I'll see. Alright folks, I'll meet you back in a second. Alright folks, here it is. There's a couple of, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of finishing touches I want to add. Um, that's with my Thule art pens and I think it will make a really cool difference. Subtle but cool. So I tried here with our number four. These are all from the pastel set and this is supposed to be that khaki and I'm just going to take out, um, no offence Maria, but I'm just going to take out the dark pen lines with the Thule art pen and there's only such a few amount of them that um, it's not going to hurt our bunny but I think it will look better without all the black on him so we'll see I am in love with these pens if I haven't already told you They just make so much possible because of the colour variety they've got. Posca, I love, I do love Poscas, but I haven't had a Thule Art leak. I've had a Thule Art clog up and all I did was follow their instructions and I took the tip out and um, literally I wiped it with a baby wipe. I ran it under hot water, sorry. Then I wiped it with a baby wipe and put it back in. And it ran like it was brand new again. My only criticism, if I have one, is that I want them to bring them out in um, open stock. I think they'd make a fortune. They haven't sponsored me yet. <laughs> I think they should. I tag them in everything I do. In everything I use them in, I tag them. So, And that's a lot. Anyway, I'll stop banging on about them. I won't take the black out around the eye because that makes sense. But this blends in so well with those colours we use. We used. So, stop running properly. They get a bit clogged like any pen. So, there we go. Let's put some up his ear. Oh, oh, now it's running like too much. There we go. What do you think to that, folks? I love it personally. I think it's. I and I, I can't. I don't know how many colours in total there are. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sets, and they're all separate colours. None of the colours are repeated at all. Okay, just smudge that bit, um, and I'm going to smudge that bit. 
and scrape that bit off. Just a bit too much. That's where I reshook the pan. If you um, reprime it like that, I've used this a lot, so if you reprime it like that, always run it on a scrap of paper before you put it on your page. That avoids that happening. It's just because the tip gets loaded and then, um, yeah, the tip gets loaded and then it all blobs out when you're ready to, not blobs out, but you saw what happened. It's, you, you can't get that fine. Those fine lines that you want. See, look at that. And that's why I love them. Just because we've got a few bits to do just down the bottom and then we are good to go. I was hoping my background would be a bit more exciting. My um, fade out background but it turned into a rather usual boring one that I could have just done with watercolours but um, I just had this image in, in mind that I was going to mix all these colours in and you know didn't work it didn't happen it's because I get scared <laughs> um, okay let's come down here so I did the pussy willows with this number four and round the flowers on part one. Now, um, if we take the other colours I've got, I did round the top of the green egg with number four. Sorry, and the khaki was number two. Now I'm going to throw in 23 and 19. Incredibly gorgeous colours. So, um, number three, 23, sorry, is the most beautiful pastel shade of yellow that I think I've ever come across in paint pens. I do sound like I'm selling them. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I just love how different it makes your page look when you can take some of the black lines out. I leave some in, but just removing some of those, um, those black lines makes a real difference, I think, to the look of your page. So that's the yellow one done. Let's go in and do the top of the pink now. Oh, oh dear, that that needs cleaning. There we go. This is a juicy one. Um, that's it, I think. And that'll dry light and you won't even notice it. And the good thing about it is, like I showed you before, is you can take up your uh, polychromos or your prisma and just sort of fade out any thick harsh line that you might get. Now I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to take this gorgeous yellow and I'm just going to do the, I'm going to hold it upright because you get that really fine tip and I'm just going to take out that black line on the edge of our butterfly, on the wings, because, just because I've got to be brave. That's so much better. I'm not so shaky today, so it seems to be panning out okay. If I was shaky, I wouldn't even attempt it. Okay, got to twizzle it round. Sorry, folks, if I'm giving you making you all dizzy. There. Look at that, that butterfly looks so much better. I'm not going to do the tiny little lines inside. And there we have a beautiful, sorry about the wobble, beautiful Easter page. Now I could erase some little circles and put different colour in there, like a little bit of light yellow and stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm happy with how it is. Um, and I think if I play, I'm going to mess it up. The only other thing, if you wanted to, was this crocus down here has some little streaks of white posca in. Um, if I bring you in and show you just what I did, um, just plain white posca and then um, actually it's it's working quite well today because my hands aren't shaky but 
so you've got a blob there, just give it a second and then just pull it down like that. It's amazing what you can do if you don't have shaky hands, isn't it? Like that. That's quite nice. <laughs> Why don't we just go with the flow then, peeps? Let's put some white in. Like this one over here got really quite dark in places. Um, I'm doing that khaki handed. And I'm more cautious than normal because I was doing a page on, for, on my members and I put some silver glitter on for some stars and I was chattering away to them all and when I looked I'd smudged it right across this endless blue sky that took forever. Anyway, <laughs> so that's why I'm more cautious than normal. So that is our Easter Bunny page. Thank you so much for voting, folks. I have thoroughly enjoyed colouring Maria uh, Troll. Um, her, her work in these earlier works are just phenomenal. And, I, you know, they get put on the bookshelf. New ones come out of these artists. That's a very, That looks very like one of the new books. And we forget how beautiful they are. Um, this paper is just is just outstanding and so are the, the pictures they're just adorable aren't they yeah wow anyway i hope you've enjoyed it and um yeah i hope you've enjoyed it and if you color along please as always share it with me it just makes it everything worthwhile it really does so i'm going to let you go i'm going to clear up my messy desk and i'm going to get back to coloring again <laughs> i'm thoroughly enjoying it just Oh, two weeks of utter, in uninterrupted colouring bliss. Colour in heaven. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? They're both trademarks, I expect. <laughs> All right, folks, I'll let you go. Enough ramblings. Um, so until we meet again in the very near future and I can show you my beautiful gifts, take really get good care of yourselves, eat as much chocolate as you want and enjoy the long weekend. Take care, my lovely friends. See you soon. Bye.